मॉर्निंग फोक्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो राइट नाउ वी आर ऑन अहमदाबाद वडोदरा एक्सप्रेस वे वी हैव लेफ्ट वडोदरा एंड नाउ वी आर हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स अहमदाबाद फ्राम देर आई गेस विल बी टेकिंग सम डी टूअर टूवर्ड्स जूनागढ़ वाई आर राजकोट ऑब्वियसली दिस इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ गोल्डन क्वार्टर लेटल इट्स नेशनल एक्सप्रेस वे नंबर वन द वेंट सेल्ड इज अ बिट डर्टी That's for obvious reason because I woke up and decided to drive. I usually don't take detour for places which have, you know, tourist value because obviously saving time is a prime requirement. But Lothal has always captured my imagination, so I guess uh, today I'll give it a try. Let's take the detour. I guess it's uh, 10 to 15 kilometers from here. Almost 250 kilometers from Junagadh, you have this uh, historical place of Lothal, which happened to be the dockyard during Harappan civilization. We have to take a left from here. National Maritime Heritage Complex, Lothal welcomes you. That's what the signboard read over there. Park it somewhere. So here we are. The ticket counter is closed because uh, renovation and some other construction work is going on, and that's why I guess public access is not really allowed at the moment. So here is the second display of various artifacts from the era. Unfortunately, we can't really get into the building because it is in a very dilapidated condition. Also, there are staff quarters over there, which are not really in a great condition. So we'll uh, head from here to the site. This is the information brochure about this place. A pretty neat write-up, I must say. I've gone through it. That's our lovely ship. And towards this direction, we have the dockyard. I guess it's not really a very large site, I must say, because. Uh, The overall expanse seems to be limited from outside, but I might be wrong. Let's go inside and check it. Protected monument. Here you have the plaque. Same over here in English. I guess these are still to be placed. Here we have a large water body. Presumably the tank. The bricks are relatively new. I don't really think that these are ancient ones. Maybe a reconstruction of same, but these are not really ancient ones. Towards the left side, we have some monuments. You can see over there. These are newer constructions, so don't really think that this is old one. Here we have another plaque. It might be indicating something. Let's see what it says. Acropolis, Durg Chhetra, Bead Factory, Manke Ki Bhatti, and Lower Town, Nagar Chhetra. Let's see where all these places are. Yes. So the bricks are not really baked bricks. And these are not really from the same period, also. They seem to be relatively new. I guess most of it is just reconstruction of what the actual thing was. This is a store room over these platforms. Things were kept, and here we have other places, which is unmarked, so I won't really be able to guide you. 
what actually those things are then we have a pot sword over there i guess it has been reassembled assembled from the remains of what would have been a pot once over there i wonder if these are original bricks because that time the bricks were kind of like pretty tiny but who knows here's the pot that we have seen over there Here is the Acropolis, the Durg Chit, as it was mentioned over there. The place was pretty interesting. Unfortunately, it's not really, you know, entirely constructed so far, so we can't really have access to most of the things, and the repair work is still going on. so we can't really have an access to the museum for obvious reasons let's get back to our car from here we have to cover additional 254 kilometers to reach junagadh and from there another 150 kilometers to bodhi dhar we have crossed junagadh towards my right is the route for uh, mana wadar and the highway that we are taking is uh, going towards vera well i guess will be there by say an hour or uh, an hour and a half and after that we have to cover another i guess uh, 40 50 kilometers up to bodhi dhar welcome to vera well it took us nearly 50 minutes i guess we started at around uh, 10:53 or something right now it's uh, 11:47 and here we are if you head towards right you have the veraval city and towards this direction we have to go further west of veraval is somnath one of the jyotirlingas but we won't really be going this that side today we have to head towards the left side After approximately, I guess, five to six kilometers, or maybe some distance as such, there's a flyover coming up, and that's the reason that there's construction work going on over here. I guess in a few years or uh, maybe sooner, we'll have a flyover which will be easing the traffic around here a bit. Was part about. flyovers is like uh, if you have a property around this area the value plummets drastically cause uh, the overall appearance becomes sabby i don't really know how that matrix work but that's what happens for example this hotel over here it was uh, having a complete view of entire area from uh, right side but now it's restricted due to flyover a strange way economics work anyway the bad roads that i have been warning about have started now uh, the car will need to do some leg work today as we have to be a bit careful here this is one of those stretch where you don't really want to go and you would rather take a 50 km longer distance than take say a 10 km stretch like this it's not really that treacherous as of now but it gets like that you can't really drive more than you know uh, say 30 to 40 km per hour something like that see the condition this is how it is on the left you have sorry on the right you have the veraval apmc mandi we are almost done with the bad patch of roads here we have a dilapidated bridge and from here we have to take a left 
it took us almost an hour just to cover say around 15 to 20 kilometers so that's the status of road from here it's a bit decent let the camera focus a bit ah yes so here we are this route is pretty decent here is the only fuel pump before alidar which is 16 kilometers from here so in case if you need fuel get your fill here itself that's a jack all it came fearlessly on the road it means that there must be a larger predator somewhere maybe here not really a safe place to go inside cause our car might get stuck and then we'll have to wait till morning So with this our 4000 km round trip journey is complete. I'm almost home. And here is your pretty village Bodi the. Yes, still I guess uh, it's uh, a kilometer away. It's almost 115 as of now. Aim obviously. And here we are. home that would be all folks it was a great fun till the next time stay tuned build it ride it